I am Dr. Adil Riyaz, Consultant Radiologist at Elias Medicare and Diagnostic Center. Today we are here with the fifth episode of our ultrasound training course, uh, but I would call it the first episode part two. Because uh, many viewers have asked me to um, uh, tell some more things about the basics of ultrasound. So in this video, I am going to discuss how different issues appear on ultrasound. How liquid appears on ultrasound, how soft tissue appears on ultrasound, how gas appears on ultrasound and how calcified structures appear on ultrasound. To understand this, first you have to know a bit about the basics of ultrasound. Physics. This is my probe. This transmits sounds. Sounds exits from here, enters the body and then it being attenuated. It changes its structures, characteristics and then it is coming back to this probe. When the sound is coming back to this probe, it is creating an image on the ultrasound machine. So the structure which will not return the echoes will appear black on ultrasound. The structure which will let some sound pass through it and will return some sound will appear grey. The structure which will bounce back all the sound will appear white. So now I will tell you how different structures will appear on ultrasound. For this purpose, <clears throat> I am using the linear probe and this is a glove which I have filled with water but one finger is filled with air. This portion is filled with air, rest of the glove is filled with water. And now I will show you how different structures will appear. Now I will place my probe here. Here you can see. This whole black appearing thing is liquid, water. So water will appear black because it allows the sound to pass through it and will not return any echoes. The white dots which you are seeing in between is due to the powder which is placed in a surgical um, glove. So these are the powdered particles which you are seeing floating within the liquid. This is the surface of my couch. After crossing the whole width of this uh, liquid um, water filled um, glove, now the sound waves are returning from the surface of the couch. So water will appear black on ultrasound. Now we will see how the gas will appear on ultrasound. For this purpose, I will insert this gas filled finger within this fluid filled glove. So here you can see this white line you are seeing is the um, surface of the glove which is air filled. You cannot see anything beyond the air filled structure because it is returning all the sounds. However, it is giving a dirty posterior acoustic shadow. And please keep in mind the term which I am giving the dirty posterior acoustic shadow because I will explain it later. So now the gas is appearing white with the dirty posterior acoustic shadow. Now I am coming to the soft tissue. For this purpose, I am using my hand. This is, I have placed the probe on my hand. Let's magnify the image. Here is the soft tissue. You can see that it is appearing grey in colour because it is returning some of the sounds and is um, that sound is also attenuated. So it is appearing grey. Beyond this grey thing, this is the white line which you can see. This is the bone underlying the muscles. The bone is a calcified structure. The sound wave is going. It is striking through the bone and returning. It is unable to cross the bone. So the bone is returning maximum sound, it will appear bright white and will give a clear posterior acoustic shadow. You will not be able to see anything beyond the bone. So now return to me. So I'm going to repeat now. 
fluid will appear black because it is transmitting all the sound waves and is returning no echoes. But I will be able to see anything beyond a fluid field structure. That's the reason that to visualize the uterus and ovaries, we ask the patient to hold the urine because when the urinary bladder is filled with the urine, I will be able to see the uterus and ovaries which otherwise are not visible because the gas filled bubble loops are lying anterior to it. Gas is the enemy of a sonologist. You cannot see anything beyond that. Gas will appear white and it will give up dirty posterior acoustic shadow. Soft tissue, all the visceras, muscles will appear grey because they will be returning some sound and will be uh, that sound will be attenuated. Now there will be different, some will be uh, a little bit toward the white and some will be more toward the um, black side. But overall they will be of grey in nature and the any calcified structure like bone or a pathological calcification like a calcified hematoma or a stone will appear white and it will be giving a clear posterior acoustic shadow so with this we came to an end of our fifth episode in next episode we are going to discuss that how to visualize the uh, gallbladder your any queries any comments uh, are most welcomed I would request you to please do subscribe to my channel, do like the video, do share it if you think that it is worth watching. Thank you so much. I am Dr. Adil Riyaz, Consultant Radiologist at Ilyas Medicare and Diagnostic Center. Allah Hafiz.